I, I just want to welcome Lindy Nelson to the stage and uh, as, as she comes up, um, you remember if you were here last night, she was the Ekerahuna farmer that decided to challenge some comments from the Minister. But Lindy's much, Lindy's much more than that. Um, improving health and safety is, is a, an industry priority and Farm Without Harm is an initiative whose focus is that uh, we ensure we can continue to produce world-leading agricultural products and red meat in a manner that ensures everyone who participates in our industry supply chain does so safely. Lindy, who many of you know, is the chair of Safer Farms. They've recently published a new video that's been encouraging people to um, uh, really take this seriously and make it a priority and was awarded the New Zealand Order of Merit in 2016 for a service to agriculture and women. Lindy Nelson, we welcome you to the stage and, and thank you for your attendance. Listen up, Canterbury. It's time we all pull finger. Because when it comes to looking after ourselves or each other, are we being a bit half ass? Oh. From deaths and injuries to sickness to the top two inches, the way we farm is causing too much harm. Because when one of us gets nailed, our families, our whanau, and everyone who relies on us gets hammered too. It's time we all set a new standard from the back paddock to the boardroom. No more chances that we don't need to take. No more shortcuts when we're busy or tired. It's time to stop putting on too much pressure. And thinking that it's just someone else's problem. Because here's the thing. She'll be right is dead wrong. And half ass being okay, that stops right here. This year, Safer Farms, as Kaitiaki of the Farm Without Harm strategy, launched a bold new whole of sector, whole of systems approach to reducing harm on farm. The first part of that strategy was to refocus, re engage, and reframe health, safety, and wellbeing. Because if we're really honest, the word health and safety comes with a bit of baggage, yeah? So the first part of getting recommitment is we asked our sector to stand with us and pledge their recommitment to helping one another keep each other safe. And there was a resounding res response. And I'm really pleased that every single meat processor who sits here today has pledged their support, along with Beef and Lamb New Zealand, along with a few of you farmers. So thank you for that. Alongside that, we, we launched the Half Hour Stops Here campaign bit of a call out, but it wasn't a call out to talk about what farmers are doing wrong, but we asked the provocative question, surely we can do better than this. It introduced, perhaps a bit closer to the mic, that's unusual for me, um, we introduced a new farmer voice into the sector, one that farmers would deeply resonate with, and half us stops here, deeply resonated with them. The strategy is not a push out strategy though. It's the exact opposite. We are not telling farmers what they need to do. We are not creating more compliance. It's a pull in strategy. We are indicating that only by working together and designing practical meaningful solutions with farmers will we actually keep everybody safe on our farms, the contractors who come onto our farms, they will all return home safe and uninjured. This strategy was developed by us, for us. So it's a farmer-led, agricultural-led strategy. And it has a new vision. It has a vision that connects with the DNA of who we are as farming people. Everyday farming people protect one another from preventable harm. And as us as sectors leaders drawing a line in the sand and saying we will no longer accept the high harm rates that are associated with producing food. We are taking the harm of our people seriously. I think numbers tell a really good story of a system that is failing. My very first initial career was in critical care. I flew with a Westpac helicopter. I was in charge of ICU and the neurosurgical ward in Wellington Hospital. 
I was trained to look for symptoms of an underlying cause. And we've got a lot of symptoms which are pointing the way here now for an underlying cause. 14 to 20 deaths a year on farm. That is a massive ripple effect, not only to those families and those communities, but to our industry. That does include the neurological disorders, men that are sitting in dementia care units because of mishandling of chemicals, or the cancers. 60 of us every week get injured on farm. Five children get injured. Doesn't include suicides or poor mental health, and we all know where that's at at the moment. The way we farm, the systems we are using, are causing too much harm. But we can change this, but the outcomes will be predicted on our ability to change our beliefs and our current attitudes to health, safety, and well-being. There's an irony: farmers care for people and one another and yet our workplaces actually kill, harm, and maim people who work on them. But this strategy gives us the opportunity to re-vision what it is that we want good to look like. So what's different about this? Why do I believe that this will work? Well, this is a whole system, whole sector approach. So we understand that safety is just not what happens on the farm. It's all the contributing factors, from our supply chains right through to government to our labour supply. It is a deep redesign and rethinking of the systems, particularly around the four harm, high harm areas that have been identified. We need to rethink how we deal with those. We are with farmers not against them, and that is incredibly important that they get to feel that. They are not alone in solving this problem anymore. This is what we're saying. We will solve this problem by coming together and creating systems that are meaningful and practical for farmers. We need to win their trust to do that, though. We also need to meet them where they are in their health and safety journey. Everyone is different at that stage, so we have to design products and services that meet their needs. We may need to create a new language. There is baggage around the word health, safety and wellbeing. So we may need to create a new language to really identify the value of when we do this right, what happens on farm. We need to help them understand that their experiences are important, but their experiences are not is what's going to keep them safe. That, that they are human. And by being human, they will make the stress, they will make mistakes. How do we help them fail safely? And we don't have enough systems in agriculture right now that will do that. If I'm a builder on a building site, I don't rely on my skills or my knowledge or my expertise. I know if I fall, and I don't know when I'm going to fall, or why I'm going to fall, or how I'm going to fall, but I know if I fall, I'll fall safely. We need those sort of systems in our farming systems to keep people safe. Is it possible, you're going to ask me? Do you think it's possible? Do you think it's achievable? Hell yeah, I absolutely do. Because I have seen it done in sectors that have had similar high harm rates to us. Forestry is one. I have also seen it done in this very room, or well, maybe not done in this very room, but by the people who work in this room. And I really want to acknowledge our meat sector for the work they have done in driving down harms in their processing factories. The, the, um, the way that they have incorporated health, safety and wellbeing into their farm assurance programs. That is an amazing opportunity to create new leadership and new language around health and safety. This will drive new conversations. Consumers will demand it. If we are concerned as clothes wearers about what happens in a Bangladesh factory and the conditions for those workers, it's not long till our consumers are going to be fairly horrified that humans are harmed in the production of their food. So consumers are going to demand it better. 
But more so, we have the influence in this room and the know-how on how to get it right. And so that is what I'm asking from you. Use your influence and help us get this right. And the last thing is I actually trust farmers. I absolutely trust them if they're supported and we come up with the right solutions that they can do that. We also know the ingredients for success. We've identified four things that we will need to do to get this right. The first one is change health and safety to a culture of care. And it's in our DNA as farmers to care for one another. So we need to reframe what health and safety is. We need to come together in a very unprecedented way to collaborate. If we want this unprecedented change, we have to work together in a way we never have before. We need to have continuous learning which designs a mature system and build enough trust in that system so that we can talk about both the failures and the successes. We're okay at talking about successes, but there's a missed opportunity in talking about failures. And we need to keep committed in terms of focus, time, energy and investment because this is not going to be a five minute change. This is going to take a few years. So where are we now? This strategy belongs to us. Safer farms are the kaitiaki of it. We're really tiny, we're really small, we can't deliver the whole strategy. We've absolutely put our hands up for bits that we can. But we need all of you to work with us to enact that strategy. It belongs to us. So it'll succeed through us or it will fail by us. We've commenced that journey of working together and it's been amazing in the last few months to see teams of people being pulled together, develop meaningful resources for farmers to actually start the really deep thinking in the agri think tanks about some of these high harm areas. 130 businesses and farmers have signed the pledge to commit to refocusing on health and safety, to working together and to shunning the old attitudes that we've had to that. But the big thing we need now is influencers. And I'm not talking about those cute TikTok social media ones. I'm talking about the influence that sits here in this room. We need to be able to reach farmers where they are, and that can be through you. It's our strategy. We have the opportunity to design the future together that everyday farming people prevent one another from preventable harm. Will you join us? Thank you.